Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or to my channel, whichever one it may be. So today, as you saw in the title, I am going to be talking about hair growth, especially with curly hair. So I'm going to be giving some tips that I use because believe me, my hair has not always been this length. I mean, it's not. <laughs> But I'm going to be giving some tricks, some tips, some things that I did to get my hair to grow, what I'm going through currently with getting my hair out to grow, and just stuff like that. So please stick around. Also, if you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Alright everyone, so let's get right into this. Um, so with this video i just want everybody to keep in mind that everybody has different hair we all um you know we've done different things to our hair i have dyed my hair i have permed my hair I, the heat damage everything you know so those you need to take those factors into consideration as well as well as the fact that we all have not all well we have similar but we have different curl patterns as well so what works in my hair may not work for the next girl or works in her hair may not work for me so please keep that in mind but these are some things that I found I have it all right here sorry um, some things that I found that generally for curly hair is kind of like yes 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 so just a little bit of a background on my curly hair journey um a couple years ago about four four years ago i had reached a point with my hair where i just i didn't i didn't know what to do with it anymore i hated it i hated my hair so freaking much to the point that one day i was staring in the mirror and i just started cutting my hair like I cut it a little bit and I was like okay you know now I can straighten it more um now it's gonna look healthier when I straighten it so whatever and then I just looked in the mirror basically within 48 hours and I just chopped it all off um it was like a really big moment for me because I you know my family loved my hair everybody loved my hair except for me and it showed because I if you look back at photos of me going from like sixth grade up, you can see that like my hair was healthy. Then the people I started hanging out with started to influence how I wanted to do my hair. So then you started to see that it got shorter, it started getting blonder, it, uh, it was dying, I was straightening it all the time, my curls were just a mess, which led to me, which probably needed to be done anyway, but I didn't think of it that way I was just like I'd rather have no hair than to have this hair crazy to me now because I'm obsessed with my hair now but so through that as my hair was growing back I did a lot of straightening with it still because I was it was so it was so short it was just so short so I I started straightening it um, so my curls at the end as my hair started to grow out at the ends they were straight and they weren't picking up a curl pattern as well as I was hoping for because I was straightening it so that kind of goes into tip number one if you want to grow out your hair and or keep it from frizzing as much um, get your curl pattern defined any of that if you have already hit that point to where your curl pattern is just off I highly suggest just cutting it off um, I know that can be a big thing especially if your hair is long and you have so much of it that you know you hold it on and you're hoping it comes back um by all means keep trying keep using those deep conditioners and you know styling and everything but if it's just not working it's better and it will grow back um so i highly suggest if you need to just cut it off just you just uh, it's hard it's hard but it'll be worth it in the long run um, also with that if you're straightening um, and all that to your hair you know I break down sometimes and I'm like oh I just I want to see what it looks like it's been so long since I've seen my hair straight let me just straighten it but then after I do it I'm like oh my god my hair is gonna hate me it's gonna hate me I'm gonna get in the shower it smells like freaking burnt hair my curl patterns off for the next week 
So you need to keep that in mind. If you're straightening your hair, if you're blow drying your hair, if you're curling your hair, if you're doing anything where it's heat and you're not using a protectant, even with the protectant, you need to keep in mind that that's going to damage your hair. It'll cause it to break off. It'll cause your curl pattern to go off. Just things like that. So keep that in mind. If you're straightening your hair a lot, it can be affecting just how much your hair is growing as well as what you're getting from your results. So keep it in mind. Um, also, a big thing for me was the products I was using. Um, when I was growing up, my hair was in braids. And then I went and I moved to Arizona. And once I got here, I was like, you know, I don't want braids no more. I want to wear my hair down. It was when I was younger, so I just used this. Oh, I can't even. It was like LA looks, and it came in like the big bottle, and it was blue, and it was literally like, if you look at the back of it, it's just alcohol. It's a whole bunch of alcohol. So it dries out your curls. So that is another thing that you need to look into is what products are you using? What's in your products? As well as doing a little bit of research on your curl pattern. There are so many different curl patterns. Let me see. They have 2A, 2B, 2C, 3A, 3B, 3C, 4A, 4B, 4C. And you need to figure out where do, you, where do your curls align with those. And once you figure that out, then you can go and you can start looking into, okay, well, what products go with this? Like I said, some products that I use, I would never use in my little sister's hair who has wavy hair because it's just too much for her hair and it'll make it greasy. As well as her. Her products will not do anything for my hair. I mean, let's just be real. They're not going to do nothing for my hair except frizz it out and make me want to straighten it. So just keep that in mind. Knowing your hair and figuring out which products work best for your hair will keep you from straightening it. It'll keep you letting it down, which will help it grow. So yeah, let's keep that in mind. Also, your sleep routine is another huge thing um, with me. I know some people wear satin um, caps. I literally cannot, for the life of me, keep those on while I'm sleeping. So if you can, kudos to you because I can, I cannot do it. So I sleep, I do what I can. I put my hair up and I use a satin pillowcase just to keep my hair from frizzing out. I don't need any more breakage than I already get. Um, also, the type of brushes that you're using, um, if you're using a paddle brush, it can cause your hair to break off. A lot of things cause curly hair to break off, and it took me a long time to realize that my hair was growing, but as it was growing, I was breaking it off, so it didn't even look like it was growing because it was breaking off at the same time as it was growing, and it's frustrating, and ugh, so frustrating. <laughs> It is so frustrating. I hate it. Oh my goodness. Another thing, touching your hair. Like they have those cute shirts that say like, don't touch my hair, things like that. Don't touch your hair. <laughs> like, don't touch your hair. When your hair is dry, when my hair is dry, if I start touching it, it frizzes it. And frizzes to me in my head, it goes automatic to like, oh my God, it's gonna break off. I'm gonna just annoy my hair. So once you're styled, let it be styled, let it go, you know, just whew, whew, just let it go. And another thing is you have curly hair. So it can be growing quick, but there's going to be shrinkage. Obviously, our hair is curly. So don't sit there and be like, I'm doing all these things. I'm taking care of my hair. I know what's in my products. I'm using what I need to use. I'm getting haircuts when I need to get them. I'm doing what I gotta do. My hair's not growing. It's probably growing. Your hair is gonna shrink. We have shrinkage. My hair is longer than what it looks like right now. Just how it is. So I personally, I can't just look at myself and be like, it looks like it's growing. Yeah. No, I literally have to go back and look at photos. Like I have to like, okay, so two months ago, this is where my length was. This is where I'm at now. Or else I go back to my fallback thing. And literally that was my excuse to straighten my hair. Like, hmm, how long is my hair now? No, no. So just giving your hair patience. It's literally, you just have to love your hair enough to take that extra step to look at, I can't stress that enough, looking at what's in your products, 
that you're using in your hair and giving it time, especially if you're just going on to a natural hair journey, you're coming off of perms, you're coming off of heat damage, your hair is not going to overnight be all the way down to your butt unless you like have amazing, I don't know, magical powers and you can do that. But as far as I know what I've seen, it's not going to happen. You have to have patience with your hair. You have to be willing to put in the work and it's going to take time. It's not going to be a month, two months. It can be years. Believe me, I've been there. I cut all my hair off. Like, you guys, I've been there. I've been frustrated. I felt ugly. I felt defeated. I felt all of it, but it was worth it because I'm here now. I have my hair how it is now and it's growing and it's healthy and I absolutely adore it. So. If you don't take anything else out of this video besides for my long rant, but I just feel like I've been seeing so many girls say they're going on a natural hair journey and I've been seeing so many people be like, I want, I want to go down that way. I want my curls back. I want to stop doing this. I just don't know where to start. You just need to start by dropping those heat products, picking up some natural hair products or just good hair products for your hair and loving your hair. And once you start there, everything else kind of falls in place. So I hope this helps some of you guys. Just some tips on getting your hair to grow is by all these little things. All these little things play into growing out your hair. And I hope for 2018, more of you guys are out there ready to embrace just your natural, beautiful, be oh my gosh, curls are so beautiful. And I love to... Oh, I don't even see them enough. You know, I heard a, a um, what did they say? It was online the other day, and they're like, 60% of Americans have curly hair. And I was like, that's crazy, because I can go into Target or something, and I feel like I am the only person in there with curly hair, when most of the people in there should have curly hair. But I'm sure they straighten it, or they got it pulled up, or something. And, you know, I wish I just saw more curls, because I think curls are but anyway, I am done. I hope that it helped you guys. Um, I am also, I would definitely suggest after you find your products, do price checking as well. A lot of the times they're hiked up in certain places, but you can find them a lot cheaper in other places. Curly hair products can get super expensive and you can end up wasting a lot of money on things that may or may not work for your hair. So definitely reviews. I have a couple reviews on my channels of bigger companies. I plan on doing more. Just do your research on them so you're not sitting there spending more unnecessary money and then making you want to be like, Ugh, I don't even want to go through this. So, yes, that is my last tip. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.